declaring the true seven-day Sabbath prepared by the 144,000teachers.org. Remember the seven-day Sabbath. Standing on trial for your beliefs, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and allowed it. Table of Contents Word of Introduction Worship the Beast Worship the Creator Worst Case Scenario in the Court of Law Sixth Charge and Court Evidences How to File Against a Charge How to Bring Down False Education Sixth Charge and Court Evidences Response to the Court Affidavit Number One Conclusion The Seven-Day Sabbath Connected with Creation the Great Controversy, pages 437, 438. The importance of the Sabbath as the memorial of creation is that it keeps ever present the true reason why worship is due to God, because He is the Creator and we are His creatures. The Sabbath, therefore, lies at the very foundation of divine worship, for it teaches this great truth in the most impressive manner and no other institution does this. The true ground of divine worship, not of that on the seventh day merely, but of all worship, is found in the distinction between the Creator and His creatures. This great fact can never become obsolete and must never be forgotten. It was to keep this truth ever before the minds of men that God instituted the Sabbath in Eden. And so long as the fact that He is our Creator continues to be a reason why we should worship Him, so long the Sabbath will continue as its sign and memorial. The Fourth Commandment, Creator, Creation The Great Controversy, page 584 had the Sabbath been universally kept, men's thoughts and affections would have been led to the Creator as the object of reverence and worship, and there would never have been an idolater, an atheist, or an infidel. The keeping of the Sabbath is a sign of loyalty to the true God, Him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. It follows that the message which commands men to worship God and keep His commandments will specially call upon them to keep the fourth commandment. If you were charged with the crime of being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Kind and loving Father which art in heaven, thank you for providing for us a day of rest where we can meet with you and we can worship you in spirit and in truth. We praise you, we thank you and adore you in our Savior's name. Hallelujah. Worship the beast or worship the creator. The Great Controversy, page 438. In contrast to those who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus, the third angel points to another class against whose errors a solemn and fearful warning is uttered. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 and 10. A correct interpretation of the symbols employed is necessary to an understanding of this message. What is represented by the beast, the image, the mark? The line of prophecy in which these symbols are found begins with Revelation chapter 12 with the dragon that sought to destroy Christ at his birth. The dragon is said to be Satan, 
Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. He it was that moved upon Herod to put the Savior to death. But the chief agent of Satan in making war upon Christ and his people during the first centuries of the Christian era was the Roman Empire, in which paganism was the prevailing religion. Thus, while the dragon primarily represents Satan, it is, in a secondary sense, a symbol of pagan Rome. Worst case scenario in the court of law. The New World religion is now in place under the New World Order government, and it is now a crime worthy of death to teach doctrines other than those approved by the New World religion. You have been charged with the crime of teaching false doctrines and must appear before the New World Order Court for your beliefs. All your books and materials have been confiscated and you are to appear in court to stand for yourself as no criminal lawyer wants to defend your case. All your money, properties and assets have been taken over by the New World Order. Sixth charge, category relating to doctrines. Court evidences against charge number six. This is the charge served against you under the New World religion. You have taught that the true Sabbath is based on the lunar solar calendar. You have thought that all the evidences of the true Sabbath are found in the week of Christ's crucifixion. You have taught that the so-called present-day Sabbath is not the seventh-day Sabbath of creation found in Genesis chapter 2. Court evidences the Roman Catholic Church has power and divine authority to change the calendar. The Roman Catholic Church sign of authority is the first day of the week, Sunday observance, based on Christ's resurrection. Protestants, Jews, and Muslims observe their day of worship based on the Roman Julian Gregorian calendar. Seventh-day Adventists have always observed the seventh day on Saturday. How to file against the charge served under the New World Religion. Sixth charge, category relating to doctrines. You have decided to respond to this charge as a defendant respondent. Examine carefully the forms you need to fill up and serve them to the appropriate courthouse. How to bring down false doctrines by upholding true education by enunciating the universal laws. Question, how to bring down the building of false doctrines? Answer, the foundation must be attacked. It's educational religious system. The mortar and bricks must be grounded down. It's methods of instruction. What is the method to bring false education, false doctrines down? By enunciating the universal laws, thus said the Lord, and by illustrating them with the laws of nature and other laws, such as the sanctuary and prophecy. Isaiah chapter 66, verses 22 and 23. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, said the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Sixth charge, response to the court, affidavit number one. This is the charge served against you under the New World Religion. You have taught that the true Sabbath is based on the lunar solar calendar. You have taught that all the evidences of the true Sabbath are found in the week of Christ's crucifixion. You have taught that the so-called present-day Sabbath is not the seventh-day Sabbath of creation found in Genesis chapter 2. Step number one, enunciate universal laws. 
Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 12, Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, for the Lord thy God has commanded it. Genesis chapter 2, verse 3, And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. Six Charge Response to the Court Affidavit number one. This is the charge served against you under the New World Religion. You have taught that the true Sabbath is based on the lunar solar calendar. You have taught that all the evidences of the true Sabbath are found in the week of Christ's crucifixion. You have taught that the so-called present-day Sabbath is not the seven-day Sabbath of creation found in Genesis chapter 2. Step number two, illustrate the universal laws with natural and other laws. These are of ages, page 571. Every fact connected with the crucifixion should be verified beyond a doubt. It was necessary then that the eyes of all people should now be directed to him. The events which preceded his great sacrifice must be such as to call attention to the sacrifice itself. After such a demonstration as that attending his entry into Jerusalem, all eyes would follow his rapid progress to the final scene. Six Charge, Category Relating to Doctrines Court evidences against charge number six. This is the charge served against you under the New World Religion. You have taught that the true Sabbath is based on the lunar solar calendar. You have taught that all the evidences of the true Sabbath are found in the week of Christ's crucifixion. You have taught that the so-called present-day Sabbath is not the seventh day Sabbath of creation found in Genesis chapter 2. Court evidences the Roman Catholic Church has power and divine authority to change the calendar. The Roman Catholic Church sign of authority is the first day of the week, Sunday observance, based on Christ's resurrection. Protestants, Jews, and Muslims observe their day of worship based on the Roman Julian Gregorian calendar. Seventh-day Adventists have always observed the seventh day on Saturday. Court Evidences Against Charge Number Six Sixth Charge Category Relating to Doctrines Court Evidences The Roman Catholic Church as power and divine authority to change the calendar. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. The Roman Catholic Church sign of authority is the first day of the week, Sunday observance, based on Christ's resurrection. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 3, Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, an holy convocation. Protestants, Jews, and Muslims observe their day of worship based on the Roman Julian Gregorian calendar. Exodus chapter 12 verse 1, This month or moon shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month or moon of the year to you. Seventh-day Adventists have always observed the seventh day on Saturday. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Ask Christ. The Old and New Testament Synchronism and Chronology The Old Testament is revealed in the New. The New Testament is contained in the Old. The word synchronism refers to events. The word chronology refers to date. They are synchronism and chronology in the Old Testament that are reckoned 
by the names of the Feast of Leviticus, chapter 23. The first synchronism and chronology in the Old Testament are found in Genesis, chapter 7, verse 11, and are reckoned by year, month, and day. In the 600 year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. Of course, the calendar mentioned here is the biblical calendar. There are more than 100 synchronism and chronology in the Old Testament. The book of Ezekiel alone contains 14 of them, reckoned by month and day. The year can be ascertained through history. The Feast of Leviticus chapter 23 are also mentioned. Passover, olive and bread, first fruit, the Feast of Weeks, trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and tabernacles. In the New Testament, the synchronism and the chronology are based on Leviticus chapter 23. None are found by dates, such as found in the Old Testament, giving the year, the month, and the day. History also helps to reckon the timeline of the leaders mentioned in the New Testament, such as Herod, found in Matthew chapter 14, verse 6, for example, Archelaus, Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 22, Agrippa, such as in the book of Acts, chapters 25 and 26. The seasons are also mentioned, such as winter, John chapter 10, verse 12, Acts chapter 27, verse 12. The Feast of Leviticus chapter 23 are found in the four Gospels, in the book of Acts, and in Paul's letters. Passover, unleavened bread, are found in the four Gospels. Pentecost, book of Acts chapter 2 verse 1, chapter 20 verse 16, and 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 8. This is to remind us that the feasts were not nailed to the cross, since Paul was still celebrating the feast with the converts. Tabernacles is found in Matthew chapter 17, verse 4, Mark chapter 9, verse 5, Luke chapter 9, verse 33, and John chapter 7, verse 2. There are more to be found to the concordance, but these were to give you an example of how synchronism and chronology are reckoned in the New Testament, mainly using the Feast of Leviticus chapter 23. An important fact to remember is that during the time of Christ and the Apostle, the Roman calendar was based on an eight day per week calendar, while the Hebrew Jewish calendar was and is still to this day based on a seven day per week calendar. And this may have been to avoid confusion that the feasts were chosen to be mentioned in the New Testament rather than the year, month, and day as in the Old Testament. However, the main reason could very well be that it mainly shows how Christ fulfilled the biblical calendar to the letter to his life, death, resurrection, and ascension to heaven. The book of Revelation also contains many wonderful concepts of the feast, giving us synchronism and chronology in that way, and also concept of the sanctuary, the court, the holy place, the most holy place, mentioning the lamb, the candlestick, and the ark of the covenant. So surely the Old Testament is revealed in the New. The New Testament is contained in the Old. Creation Sabbath, Restoration of All Things, Desire of Ages, page 769. At last, Jesus was at rest. The long day of shame and torture was ended. 
as the last rays of the setting sun ushered in the Sabbath, the Son of God lay in quietude in Joseph's tomb. His work completed, his ends folded in peace, he rested through the sacred hours of the Sabbath day. In the beginning, the Father and the Son had rested upon the Sabbath after their work of creation. Genesis chapter 2 verse 1, When the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them, the Creator and all heavenly beings rejoiced in contemplation of the glorious scene. The morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Job chapter 38 verse 7. Now Jesus rested from the work of redemption, and though there was grief among those who loved him on earth, yet there was joy in heaven. Glorious to the eyes of heavenly beings was the promise of the future. Creation Sabbath, Restoration of All Things Continuing with the Zara of Ages, page 769 a restored creation, a redeemed race, that having conquered sin could never fall. This, the result to flow from Christ's completed work, God and angels saw. With this scene, the day upon which Jesus rested is forever linked, for his work is perfect, and whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever, according to Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4, and Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 14. When there shall be a restitution of all things which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began, according to the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 21, the creation Sabbath, the day on which Jesus lay at rest in Joseph's tomb, will still be a day of rest and rejoicing. Heaven and earth will unite in praise as, from one Sabbath to another, the nations of the saved shall bow in joyful worship to God and the Lamb. And because you are sons, God hath sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Have you ever noticed that the name of the Father, Abba, as mentioned in Galatians chapter 4, verse 6, is included in the word Sabbath. Continue with section 8, upholding the health message.